Hey everyone, this is Clutch Phase, and welcome to Titanic Adventure Out of Time, a game which I am so late in actually playing on YouTube, and actually playing in general. I haven't played this game before. I mean, I've opened it very briefly, you know, I wanted to sort of see how it worked, I wanted to get into the controls, and obviously make sure it works on my computer, but... Beyond that, I have not played this game before, so I am definitely excited to get into it. I've heard very good things about it, and I know this is, for a lot of people, the Titanic game before Honor and Glory. So yeah, with all that said, let's go ahead and start the game, and let's have a look around. Once again, today's top stories. London oh. has endured another night of German bombing. Most damage was concentrated in the East End. The RAF has struck enemy aerodromes in La Havre and the Low Countries. In what Russia, that sound? further German losses are reported around Leningrad. In Asia, the American forces oh, at I hear knocking. Is still defiant, oh, I can move. Okay. You move with. Nearing the Burmese oil field. And that concludes the news summary. We now return you to our music program. Well, she doesn't sound very friendly, does she? Okay, so if the arrow turns green, you can go in that direction. If it's red, you can't. So what does yellow mean? Because it turned yellow over at the door. Nothing, apparently. Alright, so we can go over here. Can, can I click on things? Is that how it works? No? Oh, wait. Oh, it is, okay. Ticket on the Hindenburg- oh, that, that's ill-fated. <laughs> 10th of August 1914, His Majesty's Government regrets to inform you that your service is in the sea. Oh, so we were Secret Service. Okay. Termination to be effective immediately. And we got terminated. Alright. Sure. Butcher's shop, okay. Oh, you can turn it around. Heard you're back from France. Hope you're- Hope you'll even the score yet with the bitches who fired you. Sorry to bring it up, but I think you were treated horribly. No references, no pension. What will you do next? Keep me posted. From someone called Jack. Oh, what were called? Car Carlson. Nine Stanley Crescent. Interesting. Alright. What's this? Newspapers. Hmm. I don't think there's much useful here. I know most of them. This, this isn't, isn't about tradition. Pringle certainly attests to what ordered. Though no, your dismissal stems from the Titanic mission. That, that mission you can no longer be your lord. The suspicion out now. Interesting. I, I am so sorry. But, but someone must shoulder the blame. It's a service, you understand. We can't be held responsible. Okay, okay, sure. So we had a mission on the Titanic that we failed, apparently. We've got a memories book, so let's have a look at that. I think clicking on the Titanic starts the game. I don't remember for a fact. Titanic sinks, 1,250 perish. Armas Titanic sinks four hours after striking iceberg. Well, that's not quite right. Neither is the number of people who perished. I saw it go down. I can't make out those words, I'm sorry. A first-hand account. Interesting. Oh, here we go. No word yet on the Asters. 16th of April, 1912. Oh, so Carpathia hadn't even pulled in yet. Okay. Oh. Okay, I guess I was wrong. I'm pretty sure this is the start of the... Maybe not? I'm a little bit lost. I'm not... Oh, I'm not sure what's actually going on. I thought this was how the game started. Oh. I think it might be. Okay. This is a cool sequence. Titanic adventure out of time. Okay, 
have to. Alright. Oh, 14th of April 1912, on board the RMS Titanic. That's at 9.30 p.m., so we've got what, like a couple hours? Or wait, hang on. No, I think I'm being, I think I'm being, <laughs> hang on. Oh, I can click on this? Okay. <laughs> sure. Oh, the door. Good evening. I am, I am Miss Medals, your steward, and, and if I find me to so, it is a good deal you up and about. You've been, been in your cabin. cabin the whole voyage. A touch of the Maldon Bear, was it? Maldon Bear, that's seasickness! But let's humor him. Seasickness can be quite unpleasant, especially if it's one's first crossing. Since you haven't been out of your cabin, may I instruct you on how to get assistance while on board the Titanic? Uh, yes, because if I recall correctly, this model of Titanic actually differs somewhat from the real Titanic, and knowing how to get around is probably going to be pretty important, so. Very good. Your correspondence. 2,200 on board, and they all want messages delivered promptly. Even if it is promptly. 1912, <laughs> and the Titanic, the most advanced means of sea conveyance me ever the devised, now. I still have only two hands. Okay, Smithles. 2,200 on board. Okay. Here, a map of the ship for you. Compliment of the White Star Line. That map's going to come I in very handy. I have taken the liberty of indicating your cabin, C-73. Of course, on a Sunday evening at this hour, there won't be many people out. Will there be anything else? Who's PP? What is the electric camel? That will be all. Who is PP? A young lady. A most insistent young lady. <laughs> Very well. The electric camel, that's um, it's basically just a vibrating machine up in the ship's gymnasium. I forget what its purpose was, but people in 1912 thought that it would have some exercise benefit. Anyway, that will be all, have Smedals. You unpacked? You'll find your trunk key in your bag on the bed. And remember your personal effects, your watch, and if you require additional assistance, please ring the bell by the door. Good night. Good night. All right. So let's um, let's start doing some things. Can I? Okay, I can click on the couch. There's nothing here. There's nothing interactable. Why can I click on the couch? <laughs> Wait. Smithel said the key is on the bed. So or ah, there it is. Oh wait, can I... Oh, there we go. Oh, there's more stuff to click, okay. Click and drag to... Here? Okay. His Majesty's government has assigned an agent of the Crown to rendezvous with you on board the Titanic. Remain in your cabin until your contact gives you further instructions. After completion of all your assignments on board, book passage to remain on the ship and return to Southampton for your next assignment. For a more in-depth report of the international situation in the spring of 1912, please review the white paper included as part of this briefing. That is all. Alright, well that last part's not going to be happening because, well, we're not going to have a Titanic to return on. I'm sorry, that's too much reading. <laughs> um, I think we're good to go, so let's go ahead and uh, leave. It appears you have forgotten something. Have you checked your dresser or the bed for your personal belongings? Such items can be useful to you. Okay, I think I forgot something. <laughs> Oh, there we go. Apparently I have a clock. Alright, let's go. There we go. I hope this is the right way. Yes. Alright. Glory be. It's about time. You're late. Another five minutes and I'd have cancelled your mission. Okay, so you must be the one who sent the card. Yes, I'm Pringle. Penny Pringle. 
from the Bureau of Secret Service. You didn't think they'd plunk you down on this bucket of bolts and millionaires alone, did you? Uh, sorry for being late. Shut up. Some idiot in the war office booked me into second, not first class, and I've had a fine time of it. The crew wouldn't let me in the first cabin at all. Well, you're Just in... today, I located you. You're in first class right now. What did you want to tell me? Look at this. A German colonel named Interesting. Duncan. He's inspecting their embassies in Havana, Washington, and Mexico City. We know better. Okay. Ten days ago, the Bureau got word that Zeitel has in his possession a priceless copy of the Rubaiyat of Omar Khayyam, stolen two months ago in Paris People after keep its just... purchase by a very highly placed member of His Majesty's government. Okay, so what's the Rubaiyat? The Rubaiyat's a book, so I know... Like, it's a jewel-encrusted book. I believe it actually was on the Titanic, or is theorized to be? Uh, what's Zytel going to do with it? It's your job to find out. All His right. His Lordship's watching this very closely. Very closely indeed. I wouldn't fumble this chance either, unless you fancy spending the rest of your career in some grotty Midlands back office shuffling paper about. Fantastic! And is Zytel traveling alone? No. He's with a protege. Name of Hadelitz, I believe. The two spend a great deal of time in the Café Parisien, nibbling pastries. Get into the wireless room. I don't know or care how. Officer Morrow wouldn't let me in. See if Zytel's received or sent any telegrams about the Rubaiyat. You've got a cryptograph in your trunk. It'll unscramble the German codes. You use the brains God gave you. Watch people. Listen, when you find the Rubaiyat, knock on my door. Okay, and what cabin are you in? Cabin F. 34. Use the second class stairs. You okay. should be set. Remember, this is your big charm. Don't fail. Don't fail! Big pointy finger. Alright, so we need to get into the wireless office. This door. I'm pretty sure I was on boat deck, so I'm not sure why I'm now on A, but okay. One thing that I remember about this game is that, in reality, to get to the wireless office, I'm gonna go in this door down this way, basically almost all the way to first class, but uh, you'd stop a little bit before. There's a doorway blocking you from getting into first class anyway. And uh, right in the middle of that little corridor at the end, it would go horizontally across the ship. There'd be a door that would lead you into the wireless office. On this sh on this model of the ship, that's Sorry. not how it works. Sections oh. if passengers aren't allowed on the... Officer Moro's in no mood to accommodate passengers right now. He's misplaced his binoculars, and he's in a right proper state about it. Off with you now. These two are officers' stairways, so we shouldn't even be allowed- In fact, we actually shouldn't even be allowed on this part of the deck. Oh. Excuse me? Okay, let's talk to- Can, can we call him over? Let's just try to go in. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, in this game, that's the wireless room. Third officer Morrow here. Sorry, the wireless room's off-limits to passengers. No Is it really? passengers allowed. Oh, well that's a shame. Uh, is it your watch tonight? Yes, though the only thing to watch is the wireless room. <laughs> oh, fantastic. They just keep bringing up more messages. Wireless telegraphy is all the rage these days. Yeah, for good reason. Gonna be glad you have it. The wireless is quite a toy. Toy? Certainly not. It's quite right. important. This is the yes. officer's promenade. No passengers allowed. Good well, night. you seem to be the only crew member who actually cares. Um, okay, we need to sweet talk and we need to actually get into that room. Get over here. Yes, what now? Uh, this area's off limits. No passengers allowed. Well, uh, the sea appears calm. Yes, very calm. You seem a little worried no about something. Moon. I don't like that. Can't see what's coming. No moon means surprises. Historically have accurate. Red. Mr. Ismay, the White Star Line's president's on board. We're walking eggshells round him, I tell you. <laughs> Though that's nothing compared to the creeping about my brother-in-law's doing at the bank. His entire London office is in an uproar. Could you elaborate? Tom works in the Admiralty. Seems our plans for troop deployments against Germany disappeared three weeks ago. Tom uh -oh. says the big boys are petrified the Jerrys will get wind of it. Could upset the balance of power. Politics. Desktop espionage. Bureaucrats. Pa. Give me the C. You can toss the rest. Well, it is 1912. The world's basically on the brink of war already. You don't care much for bureaucrats. Uh, not since the war. What war was that? South Africa. Boer War. 
The officer was a drinker. He was drunk when they trapped us out on the veldt. On a moonless night, it was a massacre. We never saw them coming. Drink always leads to the devil. Indeed, well, you're lucky you survived it. Lucky? No, I wouldn't think that I was. Very well. Well, no wonder moonless nights make you jumpy. An interesting connection. For all I know, it could be true. A man's got his troubles. Sick child, being away from home. But I hate whiners and apologizers. Well, thank you for your insight. Now, may I visit the wireless room? Have a look, why don't you? Mind you, Phillips will have my head if he catches you in there. But I don't see any harm. Well, Go on in. Phillips is an employee of the Marconi company, not of White Star Line, so it doesn't really matter. <laughs> but okay. Right. Uh... I don't know how any of this works. Okay, um... That's... Good? Fine? Okay... Uh... Oh. Okay, there we go. And then I guess... I think we need to receive... Okay, then coming in here we need to find the right frequency. Okay, nothing. Oh wait, this was outgoing, wasn't it? A-N-H-Q-S-P-P-A-I-X-W-B-F-C-X-Y-A-M Alright, so that was just a nice warning. Uh, what if we send it to transmit? Okay. Okay, cool. And I guess now let's figure out what we sent. Oh, can I turn the wireless set off? Oh, it's off. Okay. Alright, let's go back in and actually decode what that message said then. Right, C73. That. Yes, that's this one. That was complete guesswork, by the way. I did not... <laughs> I did not know. Okay, we want... 8754. Decode. Oh, here we go. Rubaiyat hidden in Boiler Room 3, Coal Shoot 4, SB will deliver painting after pickup, will confirm. Zeitl. Fantastic. Reset it so they don't know. Okay, we're good. So, we want to go to Boiler Room 3. Best access to the Boiler Rooms is probably through Scotland Road. Although, heck if I know where I'm going. <laughs> okay, I'm... I might be lost. Nope. Oh, this looks like an engine room door. But it's useless to us. That's great. Hello. Oh, here we go. Stairs. Okay. Well, we're going down, which is the right way. Oh, here we go. Oh, there we go. Hello. I'll just walk right by you if you don't mind. What a oh. passenger. I can't regulate the steam by boilers one and so I don't have time for you. You're where you shouldn't be. Get up top before you're kicked up there. Okay, um, maybe I can solve oh, that problem for you? She's really acting up. See? Still working the bugs out. See for yourself. Okay, I'll help you. Have at it. There's a gauge showing the turbine's power out. The needle's got to move into the green zone. Over here. Ah, uh, puzzle game, okay. There we go. Alright. Right smart you were. She's running much smoother now. Say, since you were so interested, go on, have a, have a peek in the engine room. She's quite a sight. Yay! In we go. Hello. Who are you? You're a passenger. Excuse me, I would speak with you. Okay, what do you want? Forgive me, I am sorry to intrude on you, a person of such high station. I am Vlad. Uh, what are your troubles? I have men. I am leaving my home. I am a Serb and they have killed my wife, my children. The Austrians. For that, they will pay. <laughs> but, I do not want to burden you. Please, I need a fit. I have a friend in first class, in cabin A14. Mr. Bobicon has a package for you. Can you bring it here? Why are you down here? I am a stowaway. If I am caught, maybe they throw me overboard. Please get the package. I've eaten nothing since we sailed. Save for a rat who is not so fast. 
Oh, that sounds like fun. Okay, what's your friend's name? His name is Barbican in A14. Tell him you've come from Black. He will give you the package. I wait here for your return. Your assistance will be repaid many fold. Ooh, cutscene of Titanic sailing. No icebergs yet. Oh, you're actually just going to stand there? I'm pretty sure I can't. Oh no, I can pass you. Interesting. I can close the doors. That's a fun little detail. Oh. I believe that's the Rubaiyat. Yep, the Rubaiyat of Omer Khayyam. Well, we have the book. Now what do we do with it? Um, probably don't want to walk it past Vlad up there. We don't want whoever put it there coming back for it either. We want to have it, so let's just put it in this one. Uh, can I go the other way? I can. So this should lead me to cargo holds. And it does! Look at this! This doesn't look like Titanic's cargo holds at all. Oh! Okay. Can I play with boxes? No. Why does something tell me I'm going to need to get into that one that I can't get into? Oh, I can use this one though. Crikey, oh. how'd you get here? Sorry, passengers aren't allowed to enter the cargo hold. Well, I disagree because I was just in the cargo hold. <laughs> oh, we're on the... Okay. Fair enough. We're on the, uh, the forecastle deck. I don't know what to do now. I guess I should go see... Uh, PP. So this is where I am. Where is she? Oh, Penny's Cabin, right here. So you can click to teleport, I think, yeah, to jump to that area of the ship. I don't want to do that, uh, so I'll, I might cut out running around the ship for you guys, but I don't know, I also might not. I'll see. Okay, so this one's Penny's. What are you doing back here? Find that blasted book. I met a stowaway named Vlad in the boiler room. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. He may be down there looking for the Rubaiyat. I suggest you find out. Good advice. Set the Rubaiyat before it changes hands. Okay. Fantastic. Um. So, I need to get to the book. I guess I need to show her that I have it, or I don't think I want to walk past Vlad. Oh wait, Vlad said he has a friend. Maybe if I give him the package, he'll get out of my way. So that's my cabin. Did it mark an area where I need to go? I don't even know what deck he's on. Oh, do you know what? Um, I think I can ask at the purser's office. This is not what C deck looked like, but the purser's office should be here. Oh, yep. Yes, can I help you? Uh, I require assistance. Perhaps. As Purser, I'm in charge of the Titanic's passengers. Okay. Uh, may I check the passenger name? list? If you do, I can tell you their cabin number. Is it Sasha Barbican? Mr. Barbican, try cabin A14. A14. Alright, thank you. To serve. Of course Very you do. Good, then. good night. Good night. Did he say A14? I have already forgotten. But it should now be marked on the map, I think. So, it was A something. Nope, it's not marked on the map. So, I guess I just need to go to A deck and have a look. I can't make out anything here. Just resort to knocking and running. Here we go. I'm looking you for Mr. Barbican. Sasha Barbican of Barbican Gallery. Now, what is it that I can help you with? There we go, I'm here to receive a package for Vlad. For Vlad? He's on board? Please come Please. in. <laughs> he did it. I told him not to, told him I'd pay his ticket, but he was too proud. Such a tragedy about his family. They were with my mother's Yes. People. What happened to his family? When Austria took Bosnia, they were killed. Many were. With his family dead, America seems as good a place as any for Vlad. Okay. What will he do in America? Ask Vlad, I don't know. <laughs> the shrug. Here, his things. You'll be glad to get them. Ah, it's thank you. Late. Good night. I, I will take the hint. Voyage. Thank you. What time is it? Okay, quarter past ten. Actually, quarter past ten 
That should worry me a lot more than it sounded like it did. Okay, this is D deck. Uh, aesthetics aren't perfect, but... Wait, there's clickable. Painting. Alright. And chair. Okay. Is this chair clickable? Yes. Okay. Alright, all the chairs are clickable. Alright, I'm lost again. Uh, how do I get myself lost like this? Alright, hang on. So I am here. Is this rent-a-car here? So I need to go all the way forward. Okay. Alright. All the way forward it is. For goodness sake. God, how am I so lost? A fine oh. night to be in Hi. Holes, cold as the dickens outside. Okay. Cold but clear. Okay. Who are you? Clear as a bell, and the stars, oh, you should see a million stars in God's firmament. A congregation of life. The name's Trout. Okay. The Reverend Edgar. I'm returning from a mission in Africa. To Sunapee, New Hampshire. Where we... I mean, I live. Emily, my wife. She's dead. Ah, oh, well, I'm sorry to hear that. My sympathies. Thank you. We had looked forward to this journey. But she died at Port Sahid. Though it was Nyasaland that killed her, the doctors, you know, never did find all the parasites. Calling on Miss Pringle? She has been invaluable this voyage. A pillar. Oh yes, we're very glad she's with us. Unlike the occultist Trask. Tempting the passengers with his occult mysteries. You sound like you know too much. Trask sounds like an interesting fellow. Be wary of him. Trask's a trickster. Okay. Take this card, a prayer card, from my own collection. Well, thank you. Is there anything else? So, you must like it, this section of the Titanic. What section do you mean? Here, second class. You can get to Scotland Road from here. Do you know it? Scotland Road? Yes, I know it. Good night. <laughs> Wait, before you leave, I was Oh, for goodness sake. Perhaps you'd care to make a donation to our mission in Nyasaland. Yeah, no. <laughs> Sorry to have bothered you. Perhaps another time. Good evening. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll put that in the bag. Okay, stairs. Here we go. Wait, I still have his package, right? Yeah. Okay, you. Here's your Thank package. You. I must see Mr. Barbicon. I have bad news. He will not be happy. I am looking for something. Something very important. But it's not here. You have seen a small... It is of no importance. Good night. Good night. Oh, has, has he left? I think he's left. I think we can get the book now. That's actually why I needed to come here anyway. Marvelous. Oops. Let's just close the watertight door. Fantastic. I love how we're just allowed into this section of the ship now. Is this her? Did you, guess it? Did you find the Rubaiyat? Did you find? Yes, I did. He's exchanged the Rubaiyat for a painting. Here's the Rubaiyat. Let me see. That's the Rubaiyat, all right. Well done. Leave it with the purser for safekeeping. It should okay, be okay. undisturbed there. All right. I decoded the telegram that Zidal sent. Smashing. What have you learned? Uh, he's exchanging the Rubaiyat for a painting. More art? Zytel's no connoisseur. No, there's something about that painting of interest to the German High Command. I'm in a story name named Vlad. He knows Sasha, an art dealer. I don't have any information about Vlad, but the other fellow, look here. Zytel's title oh, that's him. contact is a London art dealer named Sasha Barbie. Okie dokie. They say he smuggles art, and he's not about selling stolen merchandise. <coughs> The files say he's Serbian, interestingly enough, with links to some shady Balkan groups. Sounds like fun. So what should I do now? The painting's what Zeitel's really after. You must secure it. Where or how, I don't care. Just find it and bring it back here. Remember, leave the Rubaiyat with the purser for safekeeping. He might also know where the painting's... Sneak a peek at his cargo manifest. That should help you find the painting. Cargo stored somewhere beneath the forecastle deck. Things are thickening up quite focusal. nicely, aren't they? We've got to get our hands on that painting. Don't fail. Ooh, another cutscene of the Titanic. Okay, I need to get the painting, so I need to go to the purser's office and... This is wrong. I need to go to the purser's office and sneak a look at his, uh, manifest. Alright. Oh. Thea. 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 
Uh, what Jack Fair? Uh, what about Why? Mr. Fair? What do you know? Not that it matters. I'm much too busy. I must get this message through from Mr. Thayer. Mr. Thayer expects his private train car to meet him in New York, and I can't leave my post. But I need to send this telegram. Uh, uh, do I? Okay. So I, I can send it because I can get into the wireless room. Should I send it, but I need to get a look at his cargo manifest, so uh, buttering him up might be good. Help. Could I help? Yes, it might be helpful if you delivered this message to the wireless room for me. Even better, why don't you send it for me? Mr. Thayer is a very important man. So send the telegram at once. And when you have, don't forget to tell me. Let me just Perhaps. see if I ask. As purser, I'm in charge of the Titanic's passengers. Uh, may I check the cargo manifest? Certainly not. The manifest is the purser's. Only I look at the manifest. All right. Well, it was it was worth asking politely just to see. Thanks for I your help. To serve. Yeah, sure you do. Uh, I would like to check something in. Let's actually deliver this to him. I would like to check this book. Very nice. Security is our first priority. I'll put it in the safe. Fantastic. Um. I don't think I'm holding anything else of value, so good night. Very good, then. Good night. All right, let's go send a telegram for him. Can you visit? Okay, so I know I've got a puzzle to complete, but now I really want to know. We aren't supposed to allow passengers on the bridge. All right, well, he's going to let me into the wireless room anyway, so... That's it. Let's go. Just click on the cargo... Yep, Only nope, he's not going to allow allowed to access the cargo manifest. What do you want? Oh, of course. Well, I sent the telegram. You sent it? Marvelous. I was afraid you'd... Mr. Thayer will be most grit... Uh, great... Shall I tell the Thayers? And let them think the purser's not doing his job. I am the purser, and as purser, I am the one who looks after the passage. Mr. Thayer is vice president of the Pennsylvania Railroad, and it is I who shall inform the Thayers that their train will be waiting. So, if you'll excuse me... Okay, well, you're not very likable, are you... Mr. McElroy. Oh, I can... Okay, I can get a look. I need to find a painting. Uh... Oh, here we go. Okay. One case of artwork painting and... So we're going to take the second class stairs down all the way to F deck, and then we're going to go through the engine rooms. Does the person oh. have some keys that can get you into the cargo hold? Does he? I was thinking just go the long way around. Because look, see, if I do this, then I can just walk through the... Is that one that I... Boss, he don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around. Oh, uh, of course, alright. Will you let me try to... Help the boss, he don't want no passengers down here. I'd be in a right big mess if he caught you sniffing around. You let me down here earlier? Alright, fine. I'll go try to steal the keys from the purser, I guess. Yes, can I help you? I need to get to the cargo room. Go away, I'm too... Mr. Isidore Strauss, he's lost a cuffing, and he's so particular. Did he drop it somewhere? How should I know? There's more than enough passengers on this ship to keep me hopping. Oh, uh, Mr. Strauss, uh... very difficult. Yes, very difficult. It's a cufflink. Can I find it for you? Thank you. It is a gold cufflink. Mr. Strauss will be very grateful. Okay. So I'm looking for... I'm quite literally looking for a freaking needle in a haystack. He could have dropped it anywhere. Well, it's probably on a chair somewhere, right? Hang on, those chairs in, um, in the reception room, they were clickable. No. This one? What's this? That's it, there we go. Is this a cufflink? Oh, yep, object cufflink. Alright. Thankfully, that didn't take too long, even though we had the entire Titan- or I guess all of first class. Yes, can I help you? I found the cufflink. Wonderful. Mr. Strauss will be quite pleased that I found his cufflink. I shall deliver it at once. I'm just sure his gratitude will be reflected most generously. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm sure. All right, keyboard. Take the keys. Can I just take all of them? No, that's the only one I can take. So, hopefully it's the one that I need. Which door was it again? Was it this one? Yes. Nobody's allowed to... You've got the keys. You're a carter. Of course you can enter. 
Right this way. Come to visit your new automobile, have you? <laughs> Can't say I blame you. She's a beauty! Gleaming like a new pet. Right this way. Uh, mind your head, it's dark in there. Oh. You can find your way from here. No. Which one was it that I couldn't get into before? Was it this one? Oh, car. Yeah, this is the one. Headlights. Well, doesn't that just give it away? Ooh, a painting! <laughs> I love how I just tear it out. <laughs> ah, this looks like, um... The gray here. Hmm. Reminds me of the artwork by a certain, uh... Homicidal Maniac. Yeah, the car on Titanic probably wasn't actually in one piece, it was more likely actually in a disassembled state, uh, because that made it easier to transport. Oh, uh, wait, where am I going? Where am I going? I guess I should take the second class stairs to see, um, to see Pringle, right? This is her. Yes. Splendid. But now something else has come up. That snooty steward Smethels was looking for you. Find him and kick him smartly in the shins. Here's a message for you. <laughs> Did she just tell me to kick Smethels in the shins? No, I don't think I will. Uh, I'm gonna put this in my bag. Do you know what? I'm actually... I'm gonna go ahead and deliver that to the purser. Uh, is this the right deck? Nope, this is B deck. I know the Titanic, it just can't count. <laughs> Yes, can I help you? How did you get back so fast? Uh, I, I want to check something in. This painting. I'd like to check this painting. A painting, is it? I'll put this in the safe. Fantastic. That's it. That's all then, is it? Good night. Goodbye. Oh, she told me to find Smethel. Still no one wondering. This ship holds a strange fascination for you. Well, she does. Most peculiar. <laughs> I have a message from a young German gentleman by the name of Haderlitz. Okay. He would like to meet you. In the squash court. Squash court. They've opened it for him. Okay. Highly irregular, I must say. <laughs> Especially for fencing. Okay, did you say fencing? Yes. Apparently he does not favor oh, racket squash court. sport. Is he alone? Surely he is. The percentage of passengers demanding the courts late on a Sunday night is small. Minuscule, actually. How do I get to the squash courts from here? I'm going to risk it and guess that it's roughly the same as it was on the real Titanic? Meanwhile, I shall inform the young German gentleman that you will meet him presently. Fantastic. You do that. Okay. So, if it's the same as it is on the real Titanic, then I can just come here. Okay, and then there should be a staircase around here somewhere. Now, let's talk to you, because I think I need to. I am Colonel Zeidel, with the German Imperial... Oh! What You're the bad man! Like on Sunday night? Um, I'm just looking around. I am looking for something as well. Billy von Hedelitz has been the most irresponsible. He has disobeyed me and misplaced a favorite painting. Von oh, great. for the German embassy. A faux pas of the first magnitude. I'm not going to ask this, because I don't want to give away that I know. Have you informed him of this news? No, but he will find it the most electrifying, I assure you. Well, that sounds like a bit of a threat. Where's Willie For now? someone with insomnia, you ask quite a lot of questions. What did you say your profession was? Um, uh, I didn't say. As I have observed, stay away from German business. What business Germany is that? Germany wants land, industries, and material, and we will fight to get it. Britain and America will try to stop this, but we will know your plans. And if there's war, Germany will win. But enough politics. <laughs> this has been such a civilized voyage, so let us meet tomorrow in the cafe, yes? The band? They play Strauss so well. Until then. Auf Wiedersehen. Which cafe? <laughs> I should have asked, I should have asked Smuggles for directions. <laughs> oh wait, is this... Where am I? Thank you for coming. Oh! I do not meet so many people on the Titanic. It is a what in the world? English. I wish I knew more of them. Now you have the opportunity of fencing with me. 
three-time champion of my university. Oh, great. You are also an excellent athlete, yes? Colonel Seitel believes it so. Okay. Um, I... Yeah, let's just be arrogant about it. I'm an excellent the fencer. is very seldom confused about anything. You will play. If you win, perhaps. I relate to you some stories. Okay. Uh, my foil, please. On guard. Oh, no. I don't know how to do this. Hey! Okay, just click, click like hell. <laughs> You, you fence well? The Titanic, how quickly she is moving. The engines are loud oh, here. We are nearing the guard knots. banks. The Vikings thought this part of the North Atlantic cursed. Even modern sailors huh. call it the Devil's Hole. A place of dead. <laughs> Sounds <laughs> lovely. Things aren't always what they seem, yes? Like me, for example, I am German. But I am also a friend to others. Perhaps even the English. Another match? Afterwards, we can tell more tales. Another match? Uh, yes, because I think you'll give me valuable information. You fence well? You are a great athlete. Take this in friendship. May oh. it bring you luck. A thing I fear we shall all need. But if anything should happen to me, I trust you will know what to do. Okay. Ask the important question. What's Idol's interest in art? Why do you assume he is interested in paintings? I said art, not paintings. <laughs> yes, yes. Art. That is what I meant. And, and you are mistaken. Colonel Seitel cares little for art, unlike his friend Herr Barbicon. I notice he likes old Vienna, for he has many pictures of the city. I would like to know more about you. You do? Remember, only one thing <laughs> is certain, and the rest is lies. <laughs> it is a quote from an old book I had the recent opportunity to read. But I tell you more, I am associate professor at the University of Vienna. Okay. I document the mythos, the legends of mankind. I, I'm on my way to New Mexico to study the Yoni Indians under Dr. Van der Plaas. Tell me more. I am interested in what Dr. Freud calls the unconscious mind. What happens below the surface of experience. Tell me, what frightens you more? Fire or ice? Ooh, fire or ice. Interesting question. I'm going to say fire. I think fire frightens me more than ice. The ancient Aryans believed men would see four ages. According to them, this is now the Wolf Age. An age that ends with ice. After the Wolf Age ends, mankind shall experience a fire that will burn for two generations. Clearly a metaphor for a war we must all try to prevent. Yes? If the fire comes, my friends will favor the English over Germany. Another match? Hmm. I feel like you've given us enough information now, so I'm going to say no, I've got to go. Let us meet later. I will tell you more. Fantastic. Now, keep the ring. I bid you okay. good night. Keep the ring. And meet him later. Okay. I guess for now I could actually just talk to people on the ship, so what are you doing? Max Seidelman, Philadelphia, right. PA. Buyer for Haymakers Department Store. The shoppy of Spruce Street, they... You seen Hadelitz's gal, Clarice Limehouse? She must have a cabin on D-Deck, near reception. And could I receive her in a New York minute? <whistles> Willie's girl's got some class to her. Main line all the way. Uh... Okay... I, I don't yeah. know. Well, if you see it, tell us she's wasting her time spooning with that crazy crowd kit. Me, Max, the styling Spruce Street Sharpie. I'd take care of her like a princess. A regular princess. Tell her, would you? Good night. Yeah, okay, Max. Good night. Um, alright, so I, I don't think he added anything of value, to be honest. 
Wait, who's who? Who are you? You've arrived. I was expecting you. Don't think we've met. I'm Leyland Sacum Trask, metaphysical scribe and evangelist for the supernatural. Oh. I was just holding Trask. court with these two ladies. Honor and glory. Crowning time. Yes. Very good representation of it. They say a hundred wood carvers worked on the Titanic. Such effort. Now in such danger. You sense danger? Yes, for the ship. And for a mutual acquaintance. Hmm. I'd like you to do a reading of something. This card. <laughs> Would you do a reading of this prayer card? The Reverend Trout's ministrations. <laughs> he thinks I'm the devil incarnate. This will make someone a welcome gift, I sense. Okay. Um... Can I have do a reading of the key? <laughs> I get this. I get the idea the game wants me to have him do a reading of the ring, but <laughs> no, no emanations here. Okay, cool. How about of this friggin' telegram? <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm getting no reading at all. Not even faintly. Okay, fine. We'll do the ring. <laughs> Would you do a reading of the ring? <laughs> See your friend. We leave on Haderditz. He is in very great danger. Oh, the electric bass. Oh, goodness. The ring. Yes, did, did you notice the Russian characters on the inside band? Willie has a hidden life. There's a girl, a pretty girl. Haderditz knows her. Show her the ring. She'll help you. Good luck. All right. Um, cool. Good, Good night. night. I can ask him what's wrong, but I don't really care. <laughs> okay, Pringle. This is your cabin, right? Yes. Uh, he gave me his ring. Maybe Trask can tell you more about it. Yeah, he did. Uh, Zydel may suspect him. His partnership appears to be dissolving. Who else knows young Hadelitz? Talk to anyone who may have seen him. Okay, and he said he's in danger. I'll see if I can dig something up on him. Okay, I'll go continue my investigation. Finally, you're on the right trail. Follow those leads. Yeah, that's that's what I said I'm gonna do. Okay, I guess I need to find Max. Was that his name? The guy by the grand staircase on D deck. He mentioned, uh, he mentioned that she was near the reception room, that she had a cabin near the reception room, Willie's girl. So he thought her cabin was around here, so I guess I'll... Not that one. Not that one. Yes. Oh, here we go. You want something? Do you recognize this ring? It's Willie's ring. Willie, what's happened? Something bad, hasn't it? Something to win. He told me if I ever received this ring, I would know, know, know the women who gave it to me was a friend, friend to tell them about the no notebook. That they should find it. Okay. Uh. Did he say anything more? Willie's hidden a notebook on board. That's all I know. Now, okay. What about Willie? Is he hurt? Uh, he might be in danger. Oh, he told me jokes. <laughs> you sound very Everyone's unconcerned. <laughs> Not like Mama's friends. Mama, she doesn't like Germans, unless they've a title to their name. Hmm. And I like Willie. A lot. May I have it? The ring? Uh... Do you show it to anyone else? I mean, she's the only person I found who seems to care about him, so yeah, Thank sure. Thank you. I'll never forget this. Willie's in trouble. Please help him if you can. Okay, but I need to know about the notebook, so... Please. I can't speak. I'm too upset about Willie. Good night. Oh, for goodness sake. Alright. Fine, I'm not gonna learn anything more about... or from her. Well, the only thing with Café in its name is... the Café Parisienne on V-Deck. So I guess let's try that. Okay, so the Café Parisienne... Yeah, he's not in here. 
Lazy Susan. Okay, anything else? No. But my dear, it's oh. Daisy, Daisy Cash. Goodness. Moore. Surely you remember. You are naughty thing. Don't think I didn't know you'd snuck on at Cherbourg. Smethels told me all about it. The old boy's always dripping with news. Heard about Lord and Lady Lambeth. <laughs> Ruined utterly. Scarcely enough left for appearances, I'm told. I always liked Georgia. Married Charles for his name and his fortune, sensible girl. But she's made her nest. Now she must live in it. Well. Okay, I, I need to go. Goodbye. Off? On some lark, no doubt. Oh. You do keep secrets, they say. To the grave. Ta! Ah, approach to a new world. This was Olympics painting. Yes? Is the lounge open? The lounge is closed for the night. We'd open it again only in an emergency, which we are not experiencing at the moment. Interesting. They'd open it again only in an emergency. I'm gonna come back here when the ship's sinking. Uh... I don't really know what to do now. Alright, let's go talk to Pringle. Do you have the painting? Yes. Get it and bring it to me. Oh, okay. Uh, should I bring the Rubaiyat as well? No, just the painting, just the painting. Yes, can I help you? Uh, I need an item back. I need my painting. I shall return with the animals in a moment. Okay. Here you are. Perfect. Good night. Uh, Miss Pringle left word that you were to meet her immediately in cabin F-33. We really don't condone this sort of thing. Not on an English ship. Yeah, I don't know what you think it is, but it's definitely not that. Although, actually, we're supposed to be Secret Service, right? So I take it back. It definitely is that. Quickly, there's not much to... Willie Hadelitz is dead. Oh. Electrocuted in the Turkish bath. Oh, great. I heard one of the officers talking about this may not have been an accident. I was supposed to meet him later. Wants that painting badly enough to kill for it. Probably his idol. Uh, I found the painting in the cargo hold. Um. Smashing, splendid job. Look here, on the back. It's a plan for Allied troop deployment Ooh. in France. Okay. If Germany ever invaded, they'd have destroyed us. Hmm. No wonder Hadelitz was killed. Well. Berlin won't get this now. Leave the painting with the person. He'll keep it with the Rubaiyat. Uh, he Young was working Hades, with the Russians. A czarist spy? It's beginning to become clear. Uh, he had a notebook he a took notebook. from Zeitl? Zeitl's previous mission was aiding a band of Russian revolutionaries called Bolsheviks who want to overthrow the Tsar. The Germans would like nothing better than to see chaos in Russia. I bet that notebook's got names of Russian radicals. Okay. Such a list would be very important to the Okrana, the Russian secret police. With it, they'd root out the Bolshevik ringleaders and eliminate a threat to the Tsar, which would certainly help the rest of us. Did he kill Haderlich? Quite possibly. We need more information about the murder. Okay, so what do I do now? If Haderlich was murdered, you'll need protection. Here, this pen releases a single burst of knockout gas when... Find that notebook. It could be vitally important. And give that painting to the purser. Go investigate the situation at the Turkish bath. Move. Move. Okay, so I've, I've got mission objectives now. Yes, can I help you? Uh, yeah, I want to check the painting back in. I'll put this in the safe. Okay, Very good night. Good, okay, down to F deck. What have you heard? Anything? Tell me. Uh, I know Haderlitz is dead. You know him? Look. Don't breathe a word to anyone. Okay. Uh, may I investigate? This was just a simple accident. Ismay is going to raise hell when he hears. And I thought this would be an easy trip. Okay. Uh, did anyone see it? Is the wireless available? <laughs> Did anyone see anything? Or mind if, maybe mind if I look around? Be my guest. Mind you, it's not pretty. Okay. Now if you'll excuse me. Okay, so let's um, let's go ahead and head on inside. Don't see anything out of the ordinary here. 
Yep, that's a Turkish bath lounge chair. This is Olympics Turkish baths. So I guess I take it back. There is something out of the ordinary, but it's not, you know. <laughs> ah, here we go. There we go. And many knots unraveled by the road. Okay, put that in the bag. Oh, in the bag. Uh... Could be a clue to something? I don't know, it is a puzzle game, gotta think of everything. Oh. They already left, I guess they trusted me to watch it. Well, that's not happening. Okay, and many knots unraveled by the road. Maybe I can get, uh, Trask to do a movie now. Or is this him? Oh, this can is him. Feel it? The air has changed, it's clammy, cold. Like the ice caves in the ice. But you're not here about climatology. What do no. you want? No. Climatology. Um... I would like you to do a reading of something. Let's get straight to the point. Would you do a reading of this scrap of paper? Certainly. Hmm. A passage from the Rubiot. Oh. Many knots unravel could mean a rope. Complete the rest of the verse and you'll find your answer. Good luck. Great. Um, can you tell about, more about Willy Bond Hater? I Bond don't think his death was an accident. He has yeah, the wrong the wrong wrong wrong. That may help you. Yeah. Okay, and why do you think the ship's in danger? The Titanic was never christened. Very bad luck for a ship. They say that when building her, a worker was entombed in the hull. And though we've 2,000 on board, the Titanic is only half full. The world's wealthiest man, Henry Clay Frick, J.P. Morgan, the Vanderbilts, canceled the trip. They know when to listen to their gut. The vibrations of the astral plane are quite strong. Whatever happens will be quite interesting. Uh -huh. Good Goodbye. Night. I'll be here if you need me. Okay, so it, it is a fact that Titanic was never christened. However, this doesn't actually mean anything. Um, none of White Star Line's ships were christened, including Titanic's sister, the Olympic, and she served a very long and successful career. Where am I going? Yes, can I help you? Uh, I need what my... What can I do for you? Uh, I need my book. Thank you. I shall return with your valuables in a moment. Your book. Though I had to remove Mrs. Brown's Egyptian statues to get it. Interesting. Okay, good night. That's all then, is it? Good night. Alright. Let's see if we can find it. Yeah, okay, I didn't see it. Um, let's go ahead and turn the Rubaiyat back in. Now I don't know what to do. Okay, rope. Well, there's rope on Scotland Road. Should I go to Scotland Road? Okay. Um, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> okay, so unfortunately my audio actually cut off there. And my video, um... I, I ran out of space on my laptop to actually store the video. Um, I didn't notice until a little bit later and I did get down to Scotland Road. Still can't interact with the rope. Don't know what's going on there. Um, I will be recording episode 2 of this, hopefully soon. And episode 2 might be the final episode. Um, if you saw the clock when I opened it last time, it did say quarter past 11. So we were about half an hour away from Titanic hitting the iceberg. Uh, but yeah, other than that... Um, I'm afraid that's all the recorded content I've got for you, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please leave a like and subscribe. It means the world to me. If you have already subscribed, thank you so much. You're one of my favorites. I love you. And uh, other than that, I will see you in the next one. So thanks for watching, and goodbye.